Hi guys, welcome to this channel.、Um, I made this channel to share experience with you guys about fish keeping.、Um, if you guys are interested, subscribe or not, I do not care. And today, this is the first video, official long video of this channel, so you're lucky to watch this. English is my second language. If I say something you don't understand, you can leave a comment. I try to respond to that, but otherwise, just beat it. So I don't want to waste time talking about you know five things, seven things you should know about fish keeping that kind of crap. That's just like clickbait. I don't like doing anything like that. I don't want to waste your time. Today I just wanted to talk about how to properly overstock your fish tank. My experience worked for me. It may not work for you, so use with discretion. Some people started with a 10 gallon, and you know, eventually got 20 fish in it, and、uh, then they realize, holy crap, the tank is not doing well. The fish are dying, cloudy water, stinks. If you happen to search on YouTube about how to properly overstock your tank, or is my tank overstocked? I would say most likely your tank is overstocked. And I think my experience it doesn't only apply to overstocked tank; it applies to understocked, ready to be stocked, or fish died and being restocked.、Um, before I share my experience, I think the most important thing is that you have to be diligent. Fish keeping is a lot of work. You can't just be expecting to put lots of fish in a tank. And then just leave it run for like a month or two without doing water change, doing any maintenance, cleaning. That's not feasible. No tanks can do that if your tank is overstocked. So being diligent is the first, most important thing you need to keep in mind when you start this hobby. Otherwise, I recommend you to not continue. The 55 behind me, I do water change. I can. I try to do water change once every three weeks. It worked fine, no problem at all. And I feed them a lot. I feed them sometimes three times a day, four times a day, a lot. And、uh, I think the second most important thing is you have to set a standard for the nitrate level in your tank. What level you are comfortable with? Some people think 20. That's a lot. Not acceptable, but some people think you can go up as high as 80, 100, up to you. And、uh, some sensitive fish I've heard about, such as discus, they say nitrate level must be low. I haven't capped the discus, so I can't say for sure. But based on my experience, below 80 is fine. And especially if your tank is heavily planted, you need those nitrate anyway. Because those plants need them, you can't be too low. Like below 20, then your plants are not going to do well. But if you say you're comfortable with,、um, you know, 160 parts per million nitrate level, and you said you've had experience with that and your fish were doing okay, I have nothing to say. Just do you do you. I be me. So get back to the point: how to properly overstock your tank. In addition to being diligent, doing water changes when necessary, when needed. The second most important factor is keep lots of plants. I have a lot of plants in this tank behind me, not just those ones in the water in the tank, and also these ones, monsteras, pothos. You probably can't see how long that potho is, but it's basically up to the roof. I can show you, like you see, and I've got some kabamba, got some. Tiger lotus, got a sword, got a Java fern, phalasneria. I've got some floating plants, and got red root floaters as well. I've heard people saying one inch fish, twelve inch plants. Well, that's also a good rule to apply. The more plants you have, the more nitrate your tank can handle. The more fish you can keep. The second thing is you need to have a really good filter. I'm using a Fluvo 307, and this 55 is not super powerful, but it's absolute decent. The reason you need really powerful filter is not because the filter can actually filter out those nitrate. That's not going to happen. Only your plants can use them. You need to have a good filter is just because 
Your filter needs to have the ability to clean your tank, clear the water, the debris in water, the food debris, the poop, the urine, within a fairly short period of time. Basically, all the bacteria in your filter must be able to handle all this waste in a relatively short period of time, so that there won't be any ammonia spike or nitrite spike. These are toxic to your fish, but. Inevitably, you still get nitrate, but that's when you do water change and add plants. And I would say the third thing you need to pay attention is the the kind of food you feed them. I mean, I feed them everything: flakes,、uh, fun tips, bloodworms,、mm, brine shrimp, just pretty much everything. And again, this is totally your preference. If you're comfortable feeding them. Three times a day, four times a day, as long as they can finish all those foods within a minute or so, you're fine. You can keep feeding them. They they grow fast. They they are healthy. That's good. And some crappy foods, the fish don't like eating them, and then they just like debris food debris in your tank and cause ammonia spike, nitrite spike, that kind of stuff. Then you should probably avoid those kind of fish food. And also, if you feed them more, of course, you got to do more water change. So to sum up, basically, if you want to overstock your tank, that's fine. Do whatever you want. It's your fish tank. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do. But if you want to keep your fish alive and happy, then you should probably put a lot of plants in it, like real plants. Try some pothos, monsteras. Especially if your tank is next to the window, they get a lot of sunlight. They grow fast. They suck up all those nitrates, and also go with better food, so your fish will eat them all instead of just let them float in your tank. And the most important thing is always because there is no other way to remove the nitrate. I mean, the plants help, but it can't eat all the nitrates. Otherwise, you still have to do the water change. Keep your water clean. Keep your nitrate level low because that's the biggest challenge when you overstock a tank. And、uh, all the plants I used in my tank, they're pretty cheap. They grow fast.、Mm, get a few of them. Let them take over your tank. It's not going to take too much time. I have to say that at last, I have to say this hobby is really physical demanding, especially if you have big tank and you have lots of fish. You need to test the water constantly, monitor their behaviors. I work from home; it's easy for me. I see them every day, but you probably don't. Then you know, just do what you can, try your best, because at the end of the day, you're the one who created their habitat. You're just like their god, and if you don't help them, nobody will. Just enjoy the tank, the plants, the fish. I will list their names. And、uh, go with some nice background music. Just enjoy. Peace.